That's hot. You don't want to go there. Hello, I am Mike Tobias with Unique Fire Stop Product. We're located in Robertsdale, Alabama, and our small fire stop company has developed some interesting concepts for telecom cable installers who penetrate fire rated barriers. These systems are an accumulation of information that we've gleaned from installers, inspectors, and specifiers throughout the country. This is our third edition of this factory certification training video. Over the last few years, instructors and students have contacted us and told us that there are a few items that we've not placed on the video. So without further ado, we'll deal with those issues now. So, now that we've dispensed with old business, I'd like to get more into the serious side of fire stopping computer cables. If this is your method for penetration of fire rated barriers, we certainly have a sleeve system for you. Pay close attention. This is another method for penetration of fire rated walls, which we picked up in California, LA, with the state fire marshal in attendance. If any of these are your method for penetration of fire rated barriers, we've developed a system just for you. If you must retrofit something like this, your options may be limited. One system that we've developed that will take care of this is our retrofit split sleeve system. Before we get into how to retrofit these existing penetrations, let's look at some issues that you should know. What is a firewall? Exactly what is a firewall? And how do we seal it? And how do we make the inspector happy? These are all questions that we're going to answer for you today. A single sheet of 5 8 inch thick fire rated gypsum dry board is rated at one half hour of protection. So if there are two sheets of rock on a wall, that's a one hour wall. Four sheets of rock makes a two hour wall. The best source of information to determine the hourly rating of the wall or floor that you're penetrating, of course, is the building prints. If those aren't available, you'll have to decide the rating of the wall and select a system that either matches or exceeds that rating. A cinder block wall or cement wall is typically considered a two hour barrier. If it's poured with concrete, it could be a three hour barrier. If it's reinforced with rebar, it could be a four hour barrier. Always match the rating of the system you select with the hourly rating of the barrier you're penetrating. In addition to fire rated walls, you will encounter walls that are considered smoke barriers. This may be a single sheet of fire resistant sheetrock going from the floor to the deck above. If you encounter one of these typically half hour rated walls, you must treat it as if it were a firewall in order to seal it to the smoke. Once you've selected the system that you're going to use to restore the hourly rating of the barrier, go to the authority having jurisdiction and get your system pre-approved. Here's an issue that not many people really understand. The term approved in the National Electric Code, most people think means is an approved system by virtue of it being tested. Even though the system's tested, no firewall penetration is approved unless the inspector approves it. Follow the assembly instructions provided with UL tested systems. Also, go to the applicable UL listing and get the information from that in order for you to know what your limitations are. Don't exceed your limitations. When these systems are sent off for testing, the test criteria is determined by the manufacturer. Some manufacturers test systems for one hour and then they may fill it differently as far as the intumescent material to make it go for a two hour rating, three hour or even four hours. So it's important for you to select the UL listing and review it for your limitations. When you've selected a UL tested system, make sure that the hourly rating matches the application that you're dealing with. A two hour wall may be packed differently as far as the fill material than a four hour wall. All of our mechanical sleeve systems require a material that's referred to by the industry as intumescent. The term intumescent means that when exposed to heat or flame, a chemical reaction takes place within the putty that's supplied with the sleeve and it expands. With a vessel to contain, control, and direct the expansion of that intumescent material, it will seal up and stop the fire from propagating through your UL tested system. The intumescent putty that you will find included with the sleeve systems 
allows for a 48% cable load in systems rated up to two hours. 34% cable load may be required for systems at three or four hours. Check the UL listings on our website to verify. Our vertical penetrations require special consideration when packing the top of the sleeve. Refer to the UL listings on our website and get to know how these are packed. If you would like to have successful installations through fire rated barriers, simply follow the four steps I'm about to give you. Step number one, identify the hourly rating of the fire rated barrier. Step number two, select the proper UL tested system to match or exceed the rating of the barrier. Step number three, be sure to go to the authority having jurisdiction and seek his pre-approval on the system that you selected. Item number four, follow the assembly instructions to the letter. Refer to the UL listings for your limitations, cable load capacities, and any other detail which the inspector will be inspecting you by. Now let's get to the systems that we've developed. Obviously, with this retrofit, you're going to need to use our split sleeve. The split sleeve systems come in three different sizes. We have a four inch, we have a two inch, and we have a one inch. All systems are 12 inches in length for standard or typical walls. Our retrofit split sleeve comes with intumescent putty in the system. Also, we include a documentation warning label for you to use in your installation. The documentation warning label is a very critical part of a successful retrofit with this system. Be sure to fill it out and take a digital photo of your installed sleeve with the label adjacent to it. Alpha numerically identify each of your penetrations for future reference. Others will go in and disturb your seal, and without the photo, you could find yourself in trouble. All of our URL listings are on the back of the label. Disassemble the split sleeve system. Take care not to invert the two halves, as these are all handmade, and there are marks on the end for you to maintain the polarity. Use one of the slotted washers to mark your hole. This ensures that this hole will be the same size as the outside diameter of the sleeve system. You might use one of the sleeve halves to protect your cable jackets as you clean up the hole. Install the bottom half of the split sleeve. Now, maintaining sleeve polarity, install the top half. Install the first slotted square washer by working the cables through the slot, working the washer onto the sleeve and against the wall. The first washer's slot goes into the 6 o'clock position. Now install the second slotted washer and invert the slots 180 degrees. Work the cables through the slot in the coupling and then screw the coupling down the sleeve and against the washers. We've also included the slotted bushing. Work the cables through the slot in the bushing and screw the bushing down the sleeve. This is useful if you're pulling additional cables through this retrofit at a later date. Now take half of the intumescent putty and install it into the end of the sleeve. Take the documentation and warning label and adhere it as close as possible to your retrofitted system. Be sure to fill out the documentation information and then take a digital photo. Our four inch split sleeve system will retrofit just under 200 category five cables. If your hole is larger than our four inch split sleeve will retrofit, we make bulkhead plates. These are special order items. We make them by the pair. Call the factory for details. If the hole that you're retrofitting is irregular, say a square hole, on the inside washer on both sides, apply a 3 8 inch bead of fire stop caulk to the back side. If you have applications that exceed the limitations of our retrofit split sleeves, call the factory. We'll try to steer you towards someone who can help you. Now let's talk a little about new installations. If you're planning cable installations that go through fire rated barriers, follow the four steps we mentioned earlier. We make a system called the Smooth Penetrator. It's made from thin wall EMT, is rated up to two hours horizontally, and comes in a four inch, two inch, and one inch size. Once the hole has been drilled, a good method for doing so is a reliable cordless drill, a short extension, and a hole saw. A drill with a level will help you get your sleeve in the wall straight. Install the smooth penetrator with half of the hardware on it. On the back side of the wall, install the other washer, install the sliding lock coupling, 
and install the plenum rated bushing. Lock the system down into the wall. Install your cables, using the sleeve as if it's a roller in the firewall. Now you can pull your cable unattended onto its destination. The most critical part of the installation is again the documentation warning label. The UL listings for the smooth penetrator require a one inch thickness of intumescent putty to be applied within the end of the sleeve flush with the face. No mineral wool or packing of wool bat is required in this sleeve. The third device I would like to show you is our threaded penetrator. This device is rated for up to four hours horizontally and up to three hours vertically. They come in a four, two, and one inch diameter. The two hour ratings for the threaded penetrator are packed much like the smooth penetrator. Four hour ratings for this sleeve will require you to pack the sleeve full of mineral wool bat insulation. This system is also used vertically between floors and it's packed only on the top portion of the sleeve. This device is our membrane penetrator. In the telecom industry, there's been much discussion about through penetrations of fire rated barriers. Not much discussion about dropping cables inside of those barriers. The membrane penetrator consists of a six inch square plate with a one inch sleeve welded at a 45 degree angle. The holes and slots in the face of the plate allow expanding anchors to be driven in. Look at the installation pictorial on our website. The membrane penetrator is rated for one hour walls. The documentation warning label is an important factor. The cap penetrator is not a fire stop device. It's a tool that we've designed to go through the metal top plates on partition walls. As you can see, the cap penetrator is a six inch long section of EMT. We've taken one end and sharpened it to a very sharp point. We've also taken that end and made it slightly out of round. So once you penetrate the metal top plates, this thing will lock down like Chinese fingers. See the installation pictorial on our website. The current version of the National Electric Code now requires you to remove abandoned cables. These abandoned cables are a fire load in the ceiling and are not good in a fire. So as you remove these abandoned cables, observe there will be sleeves that will be harvested. When you harvest an empty sleeve, you shouldn't have to fill it with cement or cementia solution in order to maintain the 0% cable load. Unique Firestop Products has developed end caps. These are sold in pairs, they have intumescent material inside, and they seal the ends of these sleeves. The smooth end caps are available in three different sizes, one inch, two inch, and four inch diameter sleeves. The intumescent putty is on the back side. Smooth EMT end caps are sealed to the end of the sleeve with the set screws. Also available from Unique Firestop are threaded end caps. These are used for intermediate metallic tubing or rigid and they're available in pairs. They come in one, two, and four inch diameters. The threaded and smooth end caps are UL tested. The smooth end caps have been tested by UL for a rating up to two hours. The threaded end cap has been tested for a rating up to four hours. When researching how to seal these abandoned sleeves, you'll find there are very few and limited systems that have been tested. Welcome to Unique Fire Stop Products website. This is the most comprehensive source of information that we have. Our systems are constantly evolving and upgrading, and I'd like to give you a quick tour of this site. All of our contact information is at the bottom of the home page. In order to navigate the website, the main menu is at the top of almost every page. To see an overview of the products, hover over products, drop down to the device that you're looking for, and click on the description page. The description page on our through penetration systems are the single source of all the things that you'll need in order to properly install this system. The first place you should go to is the applicable UL listing. That's always underneath the drawing of the device. Select the type penetration that you're going to make and click on the UL listing that's applicable. The document you're looking at now is the actual UL listing with the UL system number as the inspector or authority having jurisdiction will find it in his UL directory. Pay close attention to the category involving the cables, the type cables and the amount of cables that are allowed within that system. This system allows for a 48% cable load. Scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see the packing requirements for this device. In this system it requires a one inch thickness 
of intermesin putty applied within the sleeve, flush with the ends. Once you've established the UL listing, go to the cable load chart and select the proper size system for the amount of fill the UL listing allows for. Our part numbers are on the left, the product description, weight, length, inside and outside diameters, and then the hourly rating. As you can see from this system, the 48% fill capacity is the only thing we list. Once you've determined the UL listing and the size system that you're going to need, you can always refer to the installation pictorial in case you have someone who's never seen one of these systems installed. Print this document out and let it go with him to the job site. Assembly instructions, drawings and specifications, and this link from the description page takes you to our UL listing page that lists all of our listed systems. The UL systems page has a discussion about packing the mineral wool or rock wool as well as the intermessent fill material. Also on this page you'll find the MSDS for the unique putty. You're welcome to print this document out and take it to your job site. As you acquire more working experience with this website, you'll be able to easily go to the products, drop down to the device that you're interested in, click on the description, or go to any other page that you might need. Here's the installation pictorial for the threaded penetrator. If your company uses AutoCAD, here are all of our systems in AutoCAD. You're welcome as a certified technician to go to these devices, download them, and use them in your prints or plans. The News button is a very important button. In the News page, you'll find documents, articles, technical findings, all are very important. Please go and review each and every one of these documents when time permits. The main menu has an installers button. This installers page is devoted to those installers who've become certified. Click on the stake and see who in your area has been certified. Once you've completed the certification training, we'll gladly list you on this page with a link to your website and your email. Click on the distributors button to see those people who stock our product throughout the country. These are also links to their website as well. Unique Firestop Products is not your conventional Firestop company. We don't have big thick manuals to bore you. What we have is this website that has extremely useful information. Anytime we've posted changes or upgrades to the product, we'll always post it on the internet immediately. In order to furnish literature for our customers, we have developed a CD-ROM, which is available, as the website changes will burn a new version. Be sure you have the latest edition of our CD-ROM. I would like to personally thank you very much for spending this time learning about our products. I hope that your fire stopping ventures in the future will be much better than those that you had prior to this video. If you would like, you can call on me anytime at the factory. Ask for Mike Tobias if I'm not in, they'll seek me out and I'll be able to answer your questions or at least steer you towards someone who can. Thank you very much.